squad welcome to austin texas i'm on a three-day trip and the first stop is texas tomorrow i'll be spending the night in cleveland and then the day after that i'll be working my way from dallas to new york so me and the crew and it's a big crew because we had some uh people who had to deadhead from new york to austin even though they were meant to work chicago but i think their chicago flight got canceled so they'll be working a flight from austin to dallas dallas to new york tomorrow fortunately for us we only had to work one flight today two flight tomorrow two flight the next day so we're gonna head out i just spent a little bit of time with them eating some food and drinking some wine we have a 19 hour layover so we're gonna hit up the strip and we're going to walk and explore and have fun so come with me on this three-day trip and i hope you enjoy the vlog this mayonnaise and watch the rest of my HBO show. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I kid you not, it's so humid outside that the lens are fogging up. Like it's so beautiful of me, but look how foggy it is. Crazy. It's the um the humidity. Me out in these Austin streets. I'm supposed to be meeting EK at a cafe. U turn. Oh my god, look at my reflection. Look at my. Oh, my bra strap is showing up. Um, he's gonna meet me. There's a restaurant in the hotel. So he's just gonna meet me there, which works out for me. Sorry if it's windy, but ooh, it is very windy. I'll be right back. I'm back in the hotel lobby. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for EK here. And yeah, I was just standing out in the sun. It felt so good. And I really, really wish the side of, that the pool fell on had that sun. That would have been amazing. But since music is playing and I don't know what kind of, I don't know if I'm gonna get demonetized, I will catch you guys in a more quiet zone. Chad is in the background. He is in New York, but we're heading to Dallas. We're gonna use my um, employee benefits and catch a trip to Dallas for the day. One being because I left my laptop and one of my classmates, she went and got it for me. So I'm gonna try to link up with her and get that. And then the next being, it's zero dollars. <laughs> Let's just go to Dallas. So yeah, stay okay. tuned. As you can see, it was very crowded in the airport. Lines were super duper long. I guess people got somewhere they need to go. But fortunately for us, we're not in that much of a rush. So we're all good. Patiently waiting for our number to be called. Um, it's a full flight today, but we're hopeful. Very, very hopeful. The seatbelt sign is on. Please be seated and fasten your seatbelt. Tell me it's just about Dallas.
That's not it. Tell them what you asked about Dallas. What was that again? The heat. Like a microwave. Uh -huh. That is not what you said. Our Uber driver is pulling up right now. LJX. Let me make sure LJX. That's here. Hi, good night. I mean, good morning. Good morning, <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> back in the airport so I can start editing my um, London and my Columbia vlogs and Chad is being Chad but the lighting over here is really really nice don't you? it's a funny camera anyways I can focus on just me there's an earlier flight to the one that we're getting on but it's delayed and it might be like really full. Our flight isn't until four o'clock and it's now one. So I was trying to see if we could get in on that flight. And I was telling him, I'm like, if you can even find one seat, one seat, then that'd be okay. Um, yeah, this is the book of the month. Okay. Rose. I've already watched all the um, Netflix shows for the Grisha verse for um, Shadow and Bone on Netflix. So I'm actually reading Six of Crows, which is the first book in the in the Grisha verse. If you get it, you get it. Um, and yeah, I might even watch something. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I just want to talk. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys when we get on the plane. Guardian flight, flight 23 two, so we do apologize for the delay in that. They come in from uh, international, we'll need to go through a security check. Once it's done with the security check, we should start the morning oh, morning. This is looking very, very red, but give me a second. Slipper on. Um, I'm gonna go to my well it's not my orthodontist yet it's gonna be my first meeting at the ortho i really want to get invisalign i've been wanting to get invisalign for like the past like six years now reap the benefits of their crops is that is that girl i've been talking for too long i will see you guys when chad and i are on our way to the doctor bye <laughs> Yes, I may look crazy. That is okay. I have decided to do something that may be very childish. I've just been looking through Best Buy, I've been looking through Amazon, and I've been watching YouTube videos, and I'm just like searching and like adding it to my cart, adding everything that I would get, and then exit. And I'm like, you can't keep treating yourself like that. By the way, when I went to the orthodontist, orthodontist he was telling me things that i didn't want to hear so he definitely recommended um somebody else that would be more equipped to do what i want um so i'm gonna get a second opinion and trust me guys if you care anything about yourself when you're going to doctors or just any anywhere if you're buying even a bag go to another store like go and see not that noise outside go and see somebody else because you may be able to get a discount or you may be able to get that second professional opinion and if they're saying the same thing that he's saying then i'd be like all right cool it makes sense and then you know work my way around it that way but if they're saying something that i would like to hear or that would work out for me that i would want then it works out that way too just always get yourself a second opinion or just you know what i'm trying to say i'm just holding my hair because it's it's heavy like it just falls back it never stays up where i put it anywho um i'll just come in back to say hi and bye and as soon as mommy comes home we're going to head to best buy so My new camera. Chad is in the elevator. 
I like to take the stairs. That's just me. Yeah, I feel like the extra, like going up and down or whatever, counts as a little workout. So I like to take the stairs. Um, mommy is not here yet, which is good. Chad is gonna get this vlogging camera, guys, and he said he's gonna vlog. So I really hope he does. Kai is also. I told her about Chad taking this camera and um, she said she would also vlog, maybe do something, something. So hold the two of them to it. I told them that you're going to be vlogging. The second Best Buy and if Chad wasn't here, I wouldn't have done it. But this is the camera, the Sony ZV-E10 mirrorless. This one says $6.99, but I don't think it's a $6.99 one that I'm gonna get. Why well, I wanna get your, isn't it nice? Except for this right here. This is gonna be the camera. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's go get an employee. Chad is looking at the GoPro. <laughs> Guys, I got it. <laughs> I got it. It's a Sony ZV-E10 and I got a four year warranty. One thing I will always stand beside is Best Buy's Geek Squad warranty on the cameras because even with this same camera that I'm holding, if you didn't know, this is a second version to the original one that I had, which is dropped in the water. And then I had a lens problem and they fixed it. So the Best Buy warranty is definitely so worth it, but ah, we're gonna get something to eat now, and then when I get home, I'm gonna show you more about the camera. Guys, Chad is trying me. Sorry, the lighting is right behind us. Husband. Husband. Where's the ring? That's what I thought. Anywho, I'm so excited. I've already opened it, but I put it back together just as though it was. So when I reach home, as soon as I reach home, I'm gonna open it. I'm always happy for you. Go move what on. You the can. I can't wait. We're still on the cannon. And we're about to be on the camera. <sighs> Back home. And here is the camera. Okay, let's unbox it right now. Even though it's gonna need to charge. I'm just gonna switch the angle of the camera so you can see the unboxing of the camera and then mark this clip mark how we look now i know it is kind of blurry in the background um one thing i really like about this apartment is the lighting it's really really helpful in making the quality of the canon just so much better so i'm so much more excited to see how it's gonna make this look i cannot wait all right guys let's go the camera i'm gonna take it out of the box unboxing I'm so excited the next thing that I'm gonna get well that I saw on Amazon are some screen protectors and I'm gonna also get um what am I gonna get I'm gonna get another lens because this is like super zoomed in or we'll see how it is I do have a really nice tripod um, but anyways let me shut up this is the battery which I'm gonna get more of in the future, but someone, oh no, it's not the battery. This is the brick to charge the camera. What's this? Oh, this is the thing, the, the sound thing. You remember guys, how I'm always talking about the wind and I have to apologize for the wind? Yeah. And then here is the battery now. This is the battery. This is what it's looking like may get more of that and then got a strap i love to walk with my strap because you guys know i do a lot of travel vlogs and i'll be walking by myself so i do like to keep it attached to my arm because teeth be teething attention and pickpocketing because pickpocketers be pickpocketing yeah let me shut up and then the actual charging cable also it doesn't come with um something like this what the canon has where it you plug you take out the you take out the, the battery and you put it in a separate device. You just charge it, like you plug it in, like you put the battery in the camera and you plug it in like a phone. Yeah. 
which is cool i don't mind it i don't always have to take out my battery and then leave battery so that is nice because sometimes when people use it them forget the battery charging in the wall so that's really nice you can just take it and go may invest though in external chargers but here's the star of the show the camera oh my god it's so pretty isn't it pretty this is what it looks like and this opens out so as you can see in the canon it flips up so like if you're looking at the screen it flips up the sony flips out so it flips out and then it adjusts and you can turn it all types of way you can do all manner of things with it then you can flip it back in like this or you can turn it and flip it in so the lens is on the inside oh wow I love it okay let's put the battery in people said it should be on 50% but there's a girl that said hers died like hers was dead like completely dead um SD card is in the camera but for now let's just turn it on take this off oh my god it's so pretty oh wow it is not dead okay let's do this together all right so it's not touch screen so i have to use the dial which is is all right i think it's touch screen at a point um i'm in the new york region we're just gonna press enter for that um i like month day year that's my settings oh <gasps> So I am trying to figure out like how to so set the, the menu, camera up so it's real nice page, for you guys. You I'm trying mode, to look. Make sure that is set to manual so or M. You can also access this setting by hitting F and then video selecting from manual media. that way as well. Now it's time to select the resolution so. and the frame rate. I don't know how this one looks. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to see in post what the quality is looking like. But I took the skin blurring thing off because I realized it was blurring my skin. I don't like that. I'm trying to see if this is. It's still, I mean, is it focusing? It's not focusing as much as I would like it. Like, let me see if I tap it. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Yeah, on camera. Uh, camera. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this is gonna be the last clip before I'm washing, well, I'm drying something. But this is gonna be the last clip before I take out the SD card and check the footage. So I really hope I didn't make a bad decision with this camera. I'm still fiddling around with it, so I'm gonna watch more and more YouTube videos to try and learn as much as I can. And I'm definitely gonna get the wide angle lens because the camera is so far right now for it to still be so cropped. But I'm just, I'm proud of me. I'm proud and I'm happy about the decision that I made. So I will see you guys later. And I really hope the sound is okay. I'm gonna wait until I get paid again to buy a, another, I um, mean a new mic and I'm gonna wait again to get paid until I buy a new wide angle um, lens so I'll see you guys in the morning Bye. I don't know if I am a dummy but there's something moving funny like these oh I don't know oh my god please don't tell me I'm tripping those black lines Oh, please don't tell me I am tripping. I just need to. Okay, look. Now, okay, I know y'all see that. I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. Okay. And I can't find the footage. Why is it not coming up? I'm trying to export the footage on my thing and it's not coming up. It's making me think that like I wasn't recording and I'm recording now. Help me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> What's going on?
made it to my hotel if you guys remember the la vlog we at the same place child we are at the same place I'm trying to take um i don't know what happened to my like hair tie thing i'm gonna have to put it in some vinegar but it got so pink like it's not showing up as pink maybe it is on camera but it got really pink and i don't know why because i didn't use anything that was pink I haven't put on any outfit that was even pink or red i have no idea and then this one i'm about to take out didn't so i took them from my mom and i noticed a lot of people do use them as hair ties never had this problem before it's not focusing like how i want it to focus i don't know i'm still trying to figure out this camera i hope i didn't make a huge mistake like you have to let me know if you like the quality of this camera girl i'm about to be going on a flipping 40 minute bike ride <laughs> how did it get here um i really really hope you guys like the quality but i'm about to get undressed so I will catch you guys later. Guys, I'm in a little beach store now. I just want to see how much everything costs. California, though. <laughs> I mean, if it's $60, it's $70. But it's so pretty. This one's pretty. This is 90 You can't really see anything. But they're so bright. Mommy would love this. I need a wider angle for you guys. This is really, really cute. Oh my god, the price is cute too. $350. I'm just here to window shop. These are so pretty. This she what is happening? This is so pretty. What is happening? Oh wow. Oh yeah. I'm getting inspiration. Here is the pink one to the orange. Guys! It's nice. Okay, I need to put the camera down. I can't focus. Oh my god. I hope it's not looking ridiculously dark for you guys but I mean I am in the shade a bit but that's Manhattan Beach I wish I could have got us riding oh my goodness me and my crew member we were dying with laugh like she was no we all <laughs> we were just we were dying with laugh but anyways um it's her time now to go in the store and uh, when she comes back down we're gonna head down to the beach maybe get something to eat walk around and then ride back i'm gonna try to get some clips of that on my phone and insert i definitely did try my best to get some clips when i was riding earlier and i'll insert those here but guys it was a mess it was a mess i didn't want to fall i didn't want to jinx myself and like hurt myself hurt the phone hurt the camera so well not really hurt but you know what i mean break I mean break we've made it down to uh, where we started and it was so quick we actually had got this um tahine from uh, like one of the local cartmans guys so delicious i'm gonna have to invest and get my own blend and make it i'm just gonna insert a small little video of what i have very very tiny video because we were enjoying it that much but we're gonna ride back along this path all the way back to the hotel so I'll see you guys later. Currently at the pool. I'm gonna take a nice little dip. And uh, yeah, they're supposed to be having dinner. They're having dinner at it's like three o'clock. It's kinda early. <coughs> Ew, excuse me. <coughs> I'm waiting for one of my crew members to come back. <coughs> Sorry, I just swallowed spit and it went to the wrong pipe. But girl, I will be back later. I'm getting a really nice tan. Look. Guys, I got a tan. Look at my... It's not even a tan at this point anymore. It's a sunburn, which I'm not like, I'm glad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad because I've always wanted to just get a little bit, you know, more golden, a little bit more darker. Cause like, <coughs> why do I keep doing that? <coughs> oh my God, this is the second time. What's wrong with me? Yo, 
Y'all can't even see the... I mean, right there you can. Look at that. Wild. I am literally ready to sleep. Um, I kind of feel... Not even kind of. I feel very tired. Um, I think it's the over-sunning. It's really getting to me. I'm trying to drink as much water as possible. I've already finished like a big bottle of water. So I'm going to drink some more. And um, I moisturized myself like while I was soaking wet, um, which they said is really good for like the absorption of the moisture. And I did like three layers of moisturizing and I even rubbed some SPF on my body. But I'm feeling very hot and tired and I do need to go to sleep soon. So I may not even watch one of the shows. Um, I think I'm definitely going to watch Warrior though because I want to see what's going on. But then if I watch Warrior, I might as well watch Full Circle because they're just so interesting. And I digress. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I will catch you guys later. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hey, hey squad. Just wanted to let you guys know I'm at the airport, as you can see. And I'm getting ready to leave. Our flight was delayed for two hours. So thank the Lord I got time to sleep in. But now we're here. Um, the gate agent. Oh! <laughs> Woo! That's you gotta, you gotta always check your six. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's all I was saying. I will talk to you guys later. And as I'll see y'all later. It's like two seconds from now. Please don't think I'm insecure. Hey guys, I am back home. I was filming the um the journey, like the subway and the sights, just so I could see what it like what the performance like was like in um low light. Mommy had got a salad from Panera. Yeah, I knew I recognized these egg. Not the egg. What is wrong with me? I'm so tired. I knew I recognized. You're not gonna really be able to see. Let me take it out and show you. These are Panera Apple Crisp, girl. If you know, you know. And they taste so good. Why is this camera not focusing? Guys, you guys need to help me. This is what the sandwich is looking like. I'm telling you, Panera is one of my favorite chain restaurants. The quality of their food is always so so good i don't really like onion oh i'm not an onion fan i got a sign at home standby 12 p.m to 12 a.m tomorrow so if don't if they don't assign me anything in that time i can relax i can chill i can sleep well i'm gonna come in closer i put shea butter on my skin i am so sunburned let me show you it's red, but I love the color. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm stressed out. The camera is on my mind 24-7. And I try to figure out why it not pick up like how it tell me it did like a pick up. Or is it? Anyways, I'm going to my bed. I'm going to keep fiddling around, but I'm going to my bed. I'm so tired. Mm. Hey, B-Squad. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon? Yes, it's 3.44. Matter of fact, I need to look out for um, my assignment for tomorrow. I haven't gotten assigned anything yet for today. And I'm three hours into my reserve availability period. So I don't know, but me and mommy are going to a like family friend um, housewarming barbecue type deal. It's way out in Long Island, so I have my uniform. You can probably see it hang up there. And I pop my suitcase with everything that I need, which you can't really see, but it is in the trunk. Um, so I'm all good with that. Wearing a cute, easy outfit to change in and out of and to pack with me as well. So 
I'm all set. If they give me something, they have to give me three hours to get there, minimum. Yeah, because they can always call and say, Fly Lieutenant Brown, we need you at such and such. You have three hours to get there. Or they can assign me something and it could be like an assignment at 10 o'clock. Or it could be an assignment at 9 o'clock. It could be an assignment at 11.55. Just as long as it's before my 12 a.m. Like cutoff time for my wrap, then I should be fine. Now I'm waiting for my other assignment for tomorrow. So I could get um, assigned wrap A and then they could assign me something at like 2. No. They could assign me something at... 6 a.m. tomorrow like a report time of 6 a.m. if you get what I'm saying if not then just just trust me but yeah so mommy and I are here getting get gas and we're going um get a gift you know how black people stay them know about things from long time and choose the day of to get something but we already have um, another gift for her we just want to get like a housewarming type gift so yeah here's mother Megan Look at my mom. Oh my god, in our nice dress. I think the soup needs a little bit more salt. Yeah. You know who can make good soup, guys? Auntie Debbie. Tell him now, mommy. Auntie Debbie don't even drink it. Mommy ain't never had to tell us all that. <laughs> but. The truth. Huh? <laughs> Slept in a little bit, but was still super early. I'm trying to figure out the math on that one because I definitely slept in. Um, but I still had in way than enough time to calmly do my makeup, relax, and pack my bag, come downstairs and eat breakfast. Like it's crazy. But I am going to. Um, go outside now because the van is pulling up we still got three minutes we still got three minutes it's hi good morning it's looking like i'm gonna have to um i'm gonna watch this when i get home don't think i'm just nasty doing all this i wrap up the ones that i have to wash in a napkin I just wanted to get the excess off before I wrap it up so it doesn't get sticky because it's a thin napkin. It's a tissue. It ain't even a napkin. It's a tissue. Well, not a tissue. Like the, the tissue that they give you in the box. Anywho. Let me get my soap outside. I just wanted to share with you guys. How early we are today. I'm so proud. Behold it gets. Mirage, stay hidden. Mirage, don't draw any attention to I got a bagel from my mom's coworker. And it's ooh, it's tough. Should I put it in the microwave? Yeah. Here's some cream cheese to go with it. Should I eat this after I shower? I know you saw that. I think I will eat this after I shower. But look at this cream cheese. It's looking so thick. I love cream cheese. And then this is the bagel. Love. I'm gonna finish pulling out my hair. Let me show you what that's looking like real quick. And then I'm gonna go bathe. This is it. I shan't be judged. I'm almost done, just this much, and then I'm done. 
come with me and a day in the life of a flight attendant. We're gonna board soon, so I gotta go. Bye. Hey, be squat. Gotta make sure I'm in the right setting because the last time I was doing a vlog, the camera wasn't set in the right setting. So I was talking in slow motion for the longest time and I didn't know. But we're here at Chicago here and I'm gonna head to Dallas. Uh, we have a fit time and one of my classmates are in Dallas so I said we were gonna link up. But I don't know where he's at. Oh, he said he's on his way. Hilarious. That was two minutes ago. He should be here soon. And then I'm gonna get some food. Actually, I have my own food. I think I'm gonna eat my yogurt and yeah. I'm starting to really like the quality of the camera more and more. I just need a new lens. I feel like I really, I really like it. Um, but don't forget to let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Guys, look, it's cute. Oh, somebody missed me, I know. Listen, she walked all the way across the airport just to First of all, me. no I didn't, because my <laughs> gate, no, my gate is right there, K1. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, it's cool. It was worth it. It was worth it. My dog, Ooh, I missed you. <laughs> but look, at the Jamaica flag. He's of Jamaican descent. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> He's our um, honorary Jamaican, like Drake. Are we gonna take our trip there? Or honorary Jamaican. I'm going back. I'm actually supposed to go this weekend. For real? No, seriously. Dream weekend. Thanks for the invite. Dream weekend. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you go and check out Hugh's Instagram. H underscore B two three. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> but he's a good guy, guys. Hey, I try. I try. Ladies. He looking for somebody. <laughs> this is a nice young man. The moms will love him. <laughs> the milk. You just gotta be careful. Cause he might leave you for your mom, I'm telling you. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. First of all, look at my shoulder. Tear up from the sun. Ugh, I've been using shea butter, so that's why it's peeling. Um, yeah, I've been using shea butter. It's all right. The other side is not as bad, but mm -mm. shea butter, sunscreen, woolly puttings, moisturizer, everything. <sighs> Let me get back to the story at hand, okay? So we come in from this long everlasting journey, this trek through the airport, through parking garages to get to the hotel. So I really, really need to pee. Oh my God, thank God that I really needed to pee. I should have did it when I came off the plane, but everything happens for a reason so i'm hoping this is in the right i hope i'm not gonna be talking forever it looks like it's in the right thing yeah so i get to the sign in the check-in counter later than my crew members right because i booked into the bathroom as soon as we got into the hotel um so the number one comes up to me and he's like oh yeah but kind of 9 40 pick up time so try to get there earlier than 9 40 because the bus is going to leave on 9 40 it's not going to wait for you whatever whatever and you just get there early so i was like okay cool i'll get down there at 9 30 you know but in my head i'm like that time just sounds so off like it just did not sound right coming out of my mouth and so i'm signing in and i'm looking at the van time and i'm still seeing the van time as 9 40 am and i'm like why is that time so it just doesn't look right so i get up in the room now and i'm just st it's still on my mind i'm just like you know what i'm gonna go to the gym if i go to sleep no if i bed no i need to go in bed if i bed no um i just want to make sure this is actually recording okay if i go and bed no i'm gonna just lay down <sighs> i'll be doing that if i bathe now i'm gonna lay down i'm gonna eat i'm gonna go to sleep so let me just change into my gym clothes go down to the gym and then go to the lobby and check out the van time because it must be wrong i didn't write it down so i must be like i just must have had the wrong time because i checked our schedule we leave the plane is supposed to take off at 6 a.m I'm like, I must have heard wrong. It gotta be me. It can't, that can't be right. I went downstairs and first of all, I was thinking the van time was 6.30. When I was in the room, I wasn't even thinking 9.40, 9.30. I was thinking the van time is 6.30. I'm like, that can't be right. Um, My friend just texted me, get out. It's so hot in Vegas. It's 110 in Vegas. Um, Let me not get distracted. 
he's in vegas right now the same friend we had just a while ago um yeah so i was like yeah let me go down and find out the actual time because i'm tripping i got this all wrong so i got on and the time is 9 30 9 40 because next door so i'm like oh that that can't be right that is so wrong so i'm telling them like no that can't be right and she's like do you want the other crew members rooms and this is how you call them so she told me how to call the room like you have to do a little something how to call the room so i called the first person um and i was like girl we're supposed to leave tomorrow at 6 a.m why is our van time 9 40. she was like what i called the second person they're like huh and they checked they went and checked for themselves and they're like oh my god they're like good catch they're like why are you being number one I'm, my position is a number three she's like look at you being a good number one um so i'm about to call the actual number one and be like guy we we got the wrong time so let me call him now i'll block out anything that needs to be blocked out like names or whatever i'll call i'll call and find out and then i'll just call you back yeah bro he had the wrong schedule he had the wrong he was looking at the wrong flight time he was looking he was looking at the wrong flight because i heard him he was like oh no our flight leaves at 10 some some he's like oh he realized what he did girl i be, i'm in my head i get paranoid so when i remember because i was very excited because we get home at 10 10 33 so i knew we got home after 10 and we're leaving from dallas going back to new york that's a two hour 50 minute ish flight so i was like how is our pickup time the time we are supposed to be landing because there's a time difference how does that make sense? And I just knew something was wrong. I just knew something was wrong. I'm a glad go with my gut. Glad go with my instinct. Because we would have been... <laughs> Crew scheduling would have been calling us saying like, what is what? Because... But I was going to wake up at 3 a.m. anyways. Um, now nah, I really got to wake up at 3 a.m. <laughs> but, whoa get out get out i'm so glad i caught that that is it i will see you guys in the morning i'll just do a little get ready with me and we can journey to the airport together bye i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna eat i'm gonna bathe good morning b squad we're heading down to the lobby we only have one leg today from dfw to new york the van leaves in two minutes and uh, I feel good even though I just had to rush. This is my little simple makeup that I did not get to show you how to do but I did do it on TikTok so check it out over there. I'm going to put on my lip gloss and that will be it for me. So let's go. I'm on the plane now and obviously there's nobody here but I'm going to get ready for everything. I already did my... Uh, pre-flight checks. I'm just gonna put away my bags now and assist where I'm needed because that's really all I do. That's my position. <clears throat> At least for just the beginning part of the, the before boarding process. So I'll see you guys when the plane touches down. <laughs> I'm gonna head to the Well, I'm in the gym now. Lower body workout today. actually just touched up my hair because you know I went to the gym and packed my bag ironed my clothes pickled everything I need to pick out and organize everything that needed to be organized because I got assigned a trip I'm going on a three-day trip to LA I believe also Kansas well I'm gonna tell you the layovers I'll be spending the night in LA just for a couple hours, um, or several hours. Chad was talking to me, um, so I'm going to talk back to him. The clink, clink, clink you're hearing, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that. Um, yeah. Guys, I made it to the plane. 
everything is all right we came on here kind of early it's still warm and i don't have a full service so i don't be kind of counting meals and all that extra stuff i am going to start preparing the pre-departure beverages like the drinks that people get in business class you know um heading to charlotte then la so i'll see you guys in oh, la or at the charlotte layover i'm pretty tired it's literally 5 32 a.m um just make sure you like up the video comment and subscribe and i'll see you later my crew members are to the right of me and the first officer is to the left of me so i will see you guys when i have more time to talk it's all in so i need to pull up all the information okay. for everybody. Oh, I got it right here. Excuse me. But we are at our hotel. Okay, no problem. We're gonna go to the pool. We're gonna go to the beach. Beach. We're gonna go to Costco because go I'm an old lady. I need some new Birkenstock. We're going to also maybe go to Bath and Body Works, Bath yeah. and Beyond. Bath and Beyond. Bath and Beyond. Bath and Beyond. And we're going to Avenue 26 Taco Stand. Avenue 26 Taco Stand. And Manhattan Beach, maybe? Mm -hmm. Manhattan Beach? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a long layover after all, huh? Yeah, we're gonna make it long. That was too long. Hey, yo, my, uh, my friend Amy, she got kids, so she got an SUV, and the kids ain't with her, so we got a party bus. Hello? This is a party bus time. Guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Here is a quick room tour. When you come in, the door is immediately to my left, and then you have the bathroom with the sink. The shower is in the bathroom and to the right, toilet, and you have like a vanity kitchen microwave. I'm glad for the microwave because I hate walking to like some other floor to get a microwave, so that's a plus in my book. And then we head out into the room. Before we head on into the room, let me step back a bit because we got the full body mirror right here. And I'm very grateful for that as well because, you know, before you leave, you want to check out and make sure your whole outfit is looking amazing. Make sure you're just well put together. And here we go into the room. This is my first time staying here at this hotel in L.A. You know, I normally stay on the beach side. Today we are a little bit closer to the airport which I'm grateful for. I don't got to wake up as early. You know, I don't got to go as hard. So I'm very grateful for that. We have a couch and a center table. Thank God. I get a lot more space. Beautiful bed. And before I even get any further, there is a painting right here. You guys know how I feel about paintings. The room is very antique, but I feel like that's the purpose of the hotel because one of my crew members told me it is a newer hotel. So the vibe that they were going for is... A very much vintage vibe and this closet is the rack for your suitcase your iron and your ironing board and hangers and they even gave us extra comforters and duvets which is greatly appreciated I mean LA right now is pretty hot so I'm good on that but I greatly appreciate it and then if you don't know now you'll find out I don't really watch TV like that when I go to hotels I either use my phone or my laptop so the fact that they hid the TV in this Chester like cabinet um, I appreciate it I feel like it just adds a little bit more oomph to the room versus just a table and a TV and then of course you have a little table for you to do your work on if that's what you came here for I came here to have fun with my crew <laughs> well I came here for work but we're gonna have fun regardless so I don't I don't need all of that and then the bed i really do like the bed i think the wood is very beautiful it's giving mahogany but i'm not 100 percent sure those of you who know drop a comment down below and let me know is this giving mahogany because i know some of you from my older youtube video days love mahogany and those things if you know you know if you know you know from my old youtube videos if you know you know but yeah it looks like a king bed it may be a queen but it is definitely giving king and then the view is not much of a view, but I do see the pool and the sun is coming out. The sun is coming out. There is a jacuzzi and a courtyard. Make sure you go and check out my TikTok video. I'm going to keep vlogging. I need to go bathe and, you know, make sure I feel good and set up myself and meet my crew. So I will see you guys downstairs. Bye. All right, guys, here is my little beach outfit. 
Got my little shorts and a yellow top. I'm gonna walk over here and show you better what my outfit is looking like. It's very close at that mirror. I mean, it's perfect for like in real life, but not this camera. I need a better lens. I keep talking about this lens. I'm gonna shut up, but I'm gonna get my belly flatter than this. So just wait on it. It is coming, okay? It is coming. Tell you, flat stomach bikana is coming. She's coming. I'm gonna go get a better tan than what I did the day I was here. So as you can see, or maybe you can't see, but the tan line, it never reached the, the, the breast name. So we need to, and the chest. So we need to go get a better tan line. Anyways, I looked out the window. As you know, we're meeting up at the pool. I saw some of our crew members down there. So I need to go. I'm gonna knock on the window and open it and yell at them. Um, but I need to get my little TikTok. My one TikTok video in, so say hi vlog. <laughs> Vlogception, you already know. So out there is definitely giving the Italy vibes that it's trying to give inside. It's really pretty. Yeah, I give them them props. Outside is really beautiful. Sorry if my hands shaky. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. <laughs> You guys, I'm recording now. <laughs> okay. What's up? Oh, Hi, vlog. You can follow me on. Don't follow me, actually. I'm not available to any of you. <laughs> She's a, actually amazing, guys. She's been helping me out with a lot. And then here is my number three. Introduce what yourself. Up, babe? Yeah, we switched at the beginning of our shift. Yes. Really the three nice. and. I'm a princess. Are princess, so four, number four. Exist? If not, please get out of my face. <laughs> Let's tell them about you, please. What about me, babe? <laughs> I don't know. You. Let me zoom out. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> you got anyways. Hi guys. Hi guys. Look, it's Kai. And show them to Lisa. Oh hey. <laughs> so I believe. <laughs> Let me go over this. I'm trying to take part in. I feel it till I tell and feel it. You say, 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 you with the grab a leaf, send me go a place where gravity no exists. My love stay there, so no give me no bush weed and no daycare. Hi! Rabbit and, rabbit and Ginger? Ginger, you're the cutest thing I've ever oh, seen in my life. So soft. You deserve it. Fucking here, the great space making on my dome, seven eight, push a fire like when we step out with the guys. Big fat split me about it. Guys, we're heading home. Well, we're heading to the LA. Let me show you guys a very beautiful view of Manhattan Beach. It's actually really pretty. Hey B squad. I am going down to get some to get some food. Let me stay in the light. Uh, I'm trying to walk backwards so the lighting is still really nice. We get 25% off this hotel's restaurant and I'm about to get some barbecue. We're in Kansas. I heard Kansas got some good barbecue. So let's go get some food. I ordered the half rack of ribs and with my discount it came out to $20 and 78 cents. So, that is nice. I feel like a lot of airline crew members are here. We saw another airline, but I feel like in here specifically, it just looked like an airline crew type of group. Um, I've been watching Outlander. I started watching it when it first started on Stars. I'm pretty sure it started on Stars. Um, and I loved Outlander so much. It was just so. It was everything. Love it. Yeah, it started on stars. Oh my god. If you guys have not watched Outlander, you should watch it. I recommend it. I wish you guys could see for the glory that it really is, but 
Look at my food. $20 worth of ribs and a full box of fries. Mm, this is going to be one of my new favorite locations. <laughs>